Upon arrival, heaps of different kinds of fish were seen on wooden structures, decayed with houseflies hovering on them. What you see now is what workers at the beach had gathered after the incident. Strangely enough, some residents had already taken some for consumption or sale. Other parts of the beach also had some of the fish still on the shores yet to be gathered. Workers at the beach were then instructed to bury the fish to prevent people from coming for them. Authorities present to assess the situation and supervise the burial of the fish included the Food and Drugs Authority, MCE for the municipality, the Environmental Protection Agency and the Ghana Police Service. Ni Adokwenu, the person in charge of sanitation at the beach, narrated to City News what the residents believe is the cause of the incident. He also confirmed that some residents have already come for some of the dead fish. How often has this happened that fish would be washed ashore? How often? Normally, since my birth, I've, I've seen it, uh, let's say, about three times, but not up to this extent. You see, you know, you get some small, 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 those who are lying around these places, uh -huh, but not far ones, you see. And this one here is over Emily. You see, so we are doubting there's a special, there's something happening. So, I mean, what, what guesses can you make? What do you think could be the cause People of this? We're saying because of uh, the, this thing, how about that they are doing there? These Chinese might have put in some dynamite and they may kill the fishes because from there they are coming to suicide, you see. Uh, so, or some deep sea, uh, these trawlers dump the fishes there. But I don't think those fishes, they get them at the deep sea. They don't get them there. It's just these little places that they like. So, Matali, there's something happening. Mm. So, I mean, when it happened, have some of the residents come for some of the fish? Oh, yes, yes. I can confirm. Yesterday, when the MCE was here with the chief of shaman, one of the boys said, he said, listen, he's a plumber. He himself said, oh, they've cooked some and I've ate Mm -hmm. So many people have taken, have taken the big ones and they have ate it. The MCE for the municipality, Ni Ajayteria, revealed that his team is waiting for results from the FDA to confirm the source of the fish and how harmful or not they are. We were told by the chief fisherman that sometimes around this time of the year, things like that happen, not to this extent, they say, not at this level, the quantity, etc. We spoke to Ladma. The chief fisherman there also indicated to the MC there that it does happen sometimes. Again, they also uh, made the point that it's not to this level. But on the Saturday, the, once it was continuing, we realized that there's a problem. So uh, Vance went out to announce that people should not be buying and people should not be eating. And also we stopped it from going to the... Uh, to the town. So by and large we have buried most of them. We have buried most of them and we have enough for samples for testing to see what has happened. So for now, because we have the security agents also supporting the president's initiative to stop people from coming to see, we've been able to stop people from uh, taking them. So I'll say it is okay for now until we get the test from the relevant authorities. Executive Director of the Environmental Protection Agency, Henry Kokofu, however, told City News it is absolutely critical that the fish are not consumed. We are relying on indigenous knowledge. If you've seen, we've contacted an opinion leader around who is uh, giving us more information and volunteering some others uh, that we cannot put on air now. So, uh, trust me, if there's been a situation like that, you take steps to track all of them as quick as possible. But then, if anybody watching and listening to this information uh, has anything to tell us, authorities, as to uh, how people have uh, um, tampered with uh, these uh, dangerous uh, dead fishes, they should tell us so that we can quickly go into action. But uh, by and large, I think uh, we, we will have to be fast and work uh, um, very hard on the community. So we are using the opinion leaders, we are using community members, volunteers to gather pieces of information and uh, we'll be able to handle the situation. 
he also pledged his outfit's commitment in ensuring measures are put in place based on the investigations done to prevent future occurrences. The whole thing is under control. All the state agencies responsible for safety of these uh, uh, resources and human lives, we are all around and we are going to coordinate our efforts to ensure that uh, we find a lasting solution to all that. Investigative teams will comprise uh, all those agencies and uh, we will leave no stone unturned until we get to, know, uh, to the bottom of this uh, problem and then uh, forestall any future occurrence. If indeed it's established to be perennial, then we must have a very uh, good strategy in place to stop that kind of uh, thing happening. Meanwhile, the Fisheries Ministry says it is also conducting investigations to ascertain the cause of the incident. Now, even though the fish that were washed ashore are being buried to prevent residents of the community from coming for them for consumption or for sale, the authorities of the Kuala Klote Municipal Assembly are pleading on those who might probably have come for some of them to stop consumption as we do not know what has gone into the fish or what might happen if they consume them. However, the FDA has taken samples of the fish and are already conducting research to know how they came about on the shore and what next. For City News, my name is Ellen Dapa.